We have become an obese society, the most obese nation on earth. And the prospects for the future only look grim because of the many chronic diseases, such as diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and hypertension, that arise from excess body fat. But most troubling, our youth are now becoming overweight and obese, and are consequently more susceptible to these many debilitating diseases at an earlier age. Dr. Gary Cohen, a pediatric nephrologist in New Haven, Indiana, explains the seriousness of some of these diseases. The, the incidence of obesity in the pediatric population has increased, and there's no doubt that the incidence of complications from obesity in the pediatric population has increased. And most notably in my own personal experience is hypertension. I see lots of kids with hypertension. Because I'm a nephrologist, I take care of hypertension, and I'm getting a lot more kids who are hypertensive who are also obese. Forty years ago, most people across the globe didn't get diabetes until they were 50 or 60. Today, in our country, in the United States, in Canada, in England, in other high-income countries, we're starting to find children, let alone adolescents, in great numbers who are either becoming pre-diabetic or diabetic. Diabetes mellitus is of particular concern as there has been an exponential growth of the diabetic population in the U.S. in recent decades, going from 5.6 million cases in 1980 to 17.4 million cases in 2007, and more recently jumping to an astounding 26 million American adults in 2010, according to the Center for Disease Control's 2011 report, representing a 364% increase in the overall diabetic population in the last 30 years. Stephen Ponder, a pediatric endocrinologist in Corpus Christi, Texas, one of the American cities with the most diabetics in the nation, talks about the devastating impact of these conditions on the young. So many of the children that come into type 2 diabetes, about 8% of them already have evidence of kidney damage measured in the form of what's called microalbuminuria. Uh, steatosis, uh, which is fatty liver, is probably the most common problem we see, and that's fatty liver infiltration in the substance of the liver, fatty liver that is. And uh, it's estimated by our experts in gastroenterology that this is going to result in a secondary wave, if you will, of hepatic transplantation, uh, a spike in the need for hepatic transplantation, or liver transplantation, in the next 20 years. 